Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Bit Workshop. In this video, I'm going to talk about the LED lighting which I've installed in my keyboard cabinet. It is made by a company called Hayfully, uh, and it is uh, very, very simple to install. It consists of an LED strip which is mounted in a little channel up here. Uh, there is uh, a controller here which is not only an on-off switch, it's also a dimmer switch. I've hidden the wiring so it goes down through the body of the panelling here. It comes across here and the only place it is exposed is just here at the hinging point. And then the wiring goes down below uh, the level of the keyboard uh, to a transformer uh, which is uh, out of sight completely. And I've got a master on off switch just here and that turns everything off, all the power to the whole keyboard. Now this lighting is terribly easy to install, as I'll now show you. Now I'm using LED lighting from Hayfully, and it's part of their Lux uh, range, and I've got a channel to put the LED in, I've got the LED itself, it's a little roll of it, it's about a metre, I've got a transformer, and also a mains lead. And all of my wiring is built into the lid of the cabinet. At the moment, the cabinet lid is sort of upside down. Uh, if you imagine, this would be the top when it's opened. Uh, and this is the, the, these are the hinges here. And I've got cabling which runs through from this point here, buried in the, under the veneer, and comes out here. And this is where it will connect across to the main carcass of the uh, keyboard stand, and then be connected to the transformer. I'm using a, a little dimmer switch, uh, which comes with uh, quite a generous amount of cable, although I've cut mine short, deliberately, uh, and uh, this is connected directly to the LED strip itself. So it's going to find itself in the end of the channel here. Now I'm using the 24 volt system, I've read a, a little bit about it, and I've had advice from uh, professional friends of mine, and they say, don't touch the 12 volt stuff. And I, I have no uh, evidence to give you other than what I've been told that the 24 volt system is far better and go for a uh, good quality because you want something that's gonna be really reliable. Now, this is what the LED lighting looks like. It's a long strip, uh, it comes rolled up and I've got about a meter of it. And it's gonna be just stuck. It's got double-sided tape at the back stuck uh, to the inside of the channel, which I've yet to fit. And you can cut this to length. And if you look very closely, every now and again, you'll see a pair of gold pads like this, and there's a line going through them. And there's just, you can just make out, there's a little um, symbol that shows a pair of scissors. And you can see the line going uh, through where these gold connectors are and there's the little scissors symbol between them. And I'm going to very carefully just cut, like so, and that's the job done. And in theory, if this was uh, your roll of tape, uh, then uh, that would be ready uh, to be used in your next project. So I've measured my channel uh, to length and I've put in some uh, screw holes and I've countersunk them and I'm going to be using some 3mm uh, by 12mm long screws. Now at this end here, you'll see that I've got a bit of an overhang in a deeper channel. That's so I can have a little reserve of cable in there in case at some later date I have to do some modification or some repairs or whatever it might be. So that's the channel in place. I'm now just going to do a dry fit so I can cut the cover uh, to length. So I've marked the length and I'm actually going to cut this on the capex saw because that'll make a perfectly square and I think a very clean cut. I'm going to use a very low speed for this. It was quite a clean cut. Now the wire that I have running through uh, the woodwork 
uh, is the one which you see here, the fatter wire. Uh, and that's colour coded with a, a red stripe there and no stripe there. So that's red and black as far as I'm concerned. And what I'm going to do now is to join. And I'm going to use a solder joint and then I've got a shrink uh, sleeve that will go around it. I'll first of all tin up the, the fatter of the two and then wrap the thinner one around it. That's that one. That's it. And now I'll just pull those shrink wraps up around. Right, so that's done. I'm now going to push these in to the sort of reservoir area. Just gently encouraging them around and tucked in without trying to put any strain on it. There we go. So those are now in, switches in position, and I can now, and I can now put my, my cover on the end here. And then that's done. So that's my so sort of emergency access point if I need to get those wires again or uh, replace the whole of the LEDs in there. And all I need to do now is firmly pop this uh, cover in, which I've just done. Peel off the magic protective tape. Make sure that's all in okay. There we go, it is now, that's good. I glued this little one on the end here um, and that glue has gone off enough and this one's screwed in because this is my access point should I need to do anything about the LED or the wiring. Now I'm just drilling a few holes in the uh, base here. Uh, now when you do this you've really got to make sure you know where you're putting them because all the effort you've put in to get to this stage you don't want to bish it up at the last minute. So here goes my other hole. I took the last bit very slowly to try and minimise the breakout on the other side, but uh, for me the breakout doesn't matter because I've got a boxed in section under here which will hide any uh, damage. Now this is the cover that goes over all the electrical bits and pieces underneath the keyboard stand and there's some air holes in it to allow for ventilation. I've got the transformer uh, for the LED lighting and I'm also going to put the uh, power supply for the uh, keyboard itself in here. Now I don't want uh, spiders and things to crawl in, in here uh, and so I'm going to put some of this uh, insect screen uh, on uh, here uh, to really dissuade anyone else from entering. Right I've just trimmed the inside of this uh, last hole which is probably just out of the, your view here. Now I'm having a cover over the whole of this area, I've made it already and it fits something like so. And there are supports in three places for it so it can be screwed in place and there's then no risk of a child uh, opening uh, the cover to expose the electrical wires. And I've got my uh, built-in plug there uh, which allows this roving socket uh, to plug into it uh, for the supply of the electricity. Now I'm not going to show you how to do any of the wiring. That is entirely uh, your responsibility uh, because I'm not qualified to teach anyone electrical wiring. But I, I will give you detail of the wiring up of the LEDs because that's a 24 volt system. This is the Hayfully 24 volt transformer and I'm mounting it underneath the keyboard stand at the back and I've put a couple of posts, you probably can't see them, but um, there are two screw uh, areas here on the transformer and I've put some longer screws with some plastic posts underneath so that this is not screwed directly to the wood and that gives airflow around it. Uh, and there is a cable here 
uh, which will be its mains cable that's already wired in and as I said I'm, I'm not going to show any of my electrical wiring because it may contradict the code that you have in your particular country so you have to work all of that detail out yourself. So I'm now installing the transformer on its posts and uh, once it's here um, it will be uh, easy then to uh, connect it up. There is a, a little a piece of tape which I've now removed on here uh, that says you must do all of your connections all the way through to the LED lights before you power this up. So I'm not actually going to plug this mains cable into the transformer until everything is completely set up. Right, that's the transformer in place and the wire which will provide its power is just tucked around out of the way for now and it'll be plugged in at a later stage. So I'm going to leave that like that now until it's time to actually test the lighting and then I'll actually connect that transformer. And the wiring is built in and the wire comes out here and it has to continue down uh, to the area underneath uh, the keyboard uh, where the transformer for the lighting is. Now in order to minimise the amount of cable that's showing, I'm passing the cable through the left hand support for the music rest. And this will then go to another piece of wood, this one here, which will be mounted something like so, uh, and will go into it and be connected uh, to the transformer in that way. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't find any other way of continuing the electrical connection from the lid to the base other than having a lead which is flexible like this. I thought about passing the uh, 0 volts and 24 volts through the two hinges, but I thought that this was just too risky, and so this is my solution. Having passed the wire through the left-hand support, uh, I can now screw it in place. That's that, and that's in place. And I've now made that connection uh, to the transformer for the LED lighting. The wire goes up through here and I'll now make the final connection uh, inside the cabinet. Now for these final connections which I'm making here, in, which will be hidden behind this piece, uh, I have to have the ability to disconnect because if there were any requirement to undo these hinges to take the lid away, then I'd have to be able to break this cable connection somehow. So I've used some miniature uh, push-in connectors which I got from a company in the UK called Maplin. They weren't very expensive. Uh, I think probably uh, there were about 10 in the packet and I should think they were probably just over a pound for the packet. I, I can't remember. Um, anyway, um, they seem to be perfect for this job. Uh, they're only coloured in red and so you have to be very careful now uh, with your colour coding when you come to do the final connection. Well that's it. That's uh, red to red, black to black. Um, I think I'd better just check to see whether this works. And I don't know if you can see that uh, we've actually got some light coming from here. Dimmed. And that's it. Fully bright. So there we go. That's how it'll be. With my music there. And my LED lighting. How about that? Pretty neat, eh? I'm really pleased with that. Absolutely Hey, <laughs> really good. So that's the Hayfley LED lighting uh, complete. I've just got to screw this little panel on and that's it, done. Good, well that's it, it's finished. And all I've got to do now is one final thin coat of Osmo Polyex on the outside of the top and then it's done. I'll be taking it into the house, getting it into action. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, bye bye.